are you? Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm uh, very fine. Cool. Can you please start by introducing yourself? I'm called uh, Alexandre Bélanger. I'm, uh, I do music, I do paintings, movies, uh, magazines, pictures. I work in the fields of uh, improvised music, uh, fashion. Before. Before, ah, before, yeah. <laughs> speak louder. So uh, I am uh, music. I make music. I make movies. At the moment, I'm doing a very long uh, series movie for uh, which I'm posting on Instagram, which are 15 second long uh, videos, and uh, they are like kind of uh, uh, dance, mo modern dancing, clownness kind of uh, running gag something and uh, I do this a lot at the moment I do some paintings some collage and concerts and, uh, and I also do a magazine and that's why I've been yes, involved okay. in this uh, NT of Clarong. Can you yeah. tell us about your publications and what we can find in them? My publication uh, so the name is called My Precious Trash I've been doing this since uh, 1998 it wasn't uh, called like at the very beginning, but uh, eventually the final name has been my first trash. So I've been doing it since '98, uh, um, and uh, there's been so far 14 issues. And uh, what else to tell you? It's about uh, it's about it's about anything. It's just about my mood of the moment. It can be rather uh, it can be either a collage or painting, like pieces of. Uh, paper I found or some poetry I wrote uh, for a while I was also including collaborations from other artists and uh, it can be pictures uh, well kind of yeah I think that's it and uh, why else? do you do that why do I do that uh, rather than why I would rather uh, say how it, uh, I started because I had the, the opportunity to have a um, a photocopy machine for, for that I could use as much as I want, like 20 years ago, and uh, it was black and white at the time. And uh, well, I thought like there is this machine, and I was already doing some collage and stuff, so uh, I just thought like, well, maybe it's interesting to use the machine or something like this. So I just started photocopying some stuff and stapling them together. And, uh, and then, then I started distributing the magazine in like places uh, I was playing concerts or places I like, like record shops or things like this. And it was distributed at uh, Colette, the, the famous uh, shop Colette, like 15 years ago, and shops in, uh, in London related to either art or music or fashion. And uh, and why I do this? Because uh, well, I guess I find I I find some pleasure in doing it, and and the thing that's that's my first motivation is just I, I love I love making things and and you know kind of share them with other people. And how does it work at the salon so far? So far at the salon, it's been very nice to to talk to people and. Um, Exchange, exchange with with the people who are also showing their works mm -hmm. and also meeting people I, I which are coming to to visit and uh, had the chance yesterday to also do a performance. Oh, like that was my, my next question. Yeah, I my, wanted to know about the text my, that you read. <laughs> my colleague Sobak uh, Mortificatore, <laughs> and uh, we were, we were also been like colleagues for about like twenty years or something. So. Yes, we did. Uh, we did. We did something yesterday, and, and normally I play guitar, electric guitar, or something like this. There was no amp, and he told me, "Well, there's a microphone. Mm -hmm. and that's all you have for that, that that time." So yesterday morning, I I thought, "Well, uh, the microphone." I thought I, I'd do something which I never did. I always like to maybe that answers back to something you asked before. There is I like the aspect of. Uh, taking risk in, in, in what I do in general. So so yesterday I took, took that risk of doing something which I've never done before, which is to read the text as a live performance. So I just picked up very quickly yesterday morning before coming to the, to the salon, 
I opened my, my computer and I went into the writing file and I found, I just searched very, very quickly. I found two texts and I picked them up and I just even didn't really remember them. I refused to, to read, read them even before in the train when I was coming. I said, oh, maybe I should read them. And I said, oh, no, no, don't read them. And I only just discovered them. And yeah. I read them and that's what happened, that's what I did. It was really beautiful. Yeah, that's what people told me. <laughs> Thank very, you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>